Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Kat. So we're back with more from Rise of Bangtan. So uh, thank you for everyone in the comments that told us that there are deleted scenes and extra scenes to these episodes. So we had a look mm -hmm. and we've got deleted scenes for episode one or chapter one. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to give those a watch. Yeah. It says on the playlist that it's things that they wanted to include but didn't work with the narrative of the the episode so mm -hmm. yeah and it yeah. makes sense if we do that chapter one and then watch the extra bits yeah and then yeah erin's not here today as well so then we can, can do ch chapter nice. yeah she can watch the outtakes or these deleted scenes yeah. and then we'll watch number two and we're all together again yeah, yeah. really enjoyed chapter one mm. a lot of information exciting to see them so young and <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll see what didn't fit yeah Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember that over on Patreon we're at least two weeks. So that's four videos ahead. And we're currently working our way through Run and we have dance practices exclusively on there too. Can you tell who's who in that? Um, hang on. Sorry to interrupt you, Jin. Okay, so JK's in the red. Yeah. Obviously RM is RM. Uh -huh. Is it... There's only six, so I'm assuming V's not there. I think this is J-Hope. What? In what? In the, the black and green down here. Okay. I think that's Jimin in the white. Is the it upside, upside down. down. Is it sugar in the mask? I'd say, and then maybe gin in the blue. Yeah, do you know? Do you know what? I because I haven't seen this for a long time, but if you know, put it in the comments. Yeah, I'm assuming it's V that's missing. I'll be able to figure it out once they start moving because the way they should be able to. See what's left. Oh no, that might have been J Hope in the blue with the hockey mask. I could be wrong. Okay. <laughs> Either way, it looked like carnage. Yeah. 너는 가끔 집에서 밥을 해 먹는데 오늘도 밥, 나름 바쁜 와중에도 나는 밥을 만들 때마다 항상 가지고 있는 생각이 있는데 미래의 나의 부인과 같이 이렇게 밥을 요리를 해 먹으면 얼마나 좋을까라는 생각을 항상 언젠가 그런 날이 오길 기다리면 2013년 <웃음> 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 열심히 할 것이다. 맞나? 맞다. <웃음> It's like revenge, you sweet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
되게 정신없는 하루를 보내고 있다. 진짜 현실의 과거 같아서 그런지 되게 잠도 줄어가면서 열심히 하고 있는데 음, 이렇게 내가 하는 만큼 뭔가 좋은 결과가 있었으면 좋겠어. 어, 약이 나와야 돼요. 그래 이제는 봄이 이기도 하고 다 같이 우리 복고 축제를 가야겠다. 우리 복고 축제 가야죠. 방탄소년단은 뭐 어떤 소식이 있을까? 오늘 전화야겠어. 정말 방탄소년단 열을 쳐서 뭐 방탄소년단 블로그도 나오고 공식 블로그도 나오고 공식 카페도 나오고 무슨 팔 블로그도 나오고 연수도 팔백팔십구. 어두 방탄 두 방탄 디얼 지미 디얼 슈가 디얼 거리 두 페이지는 나한테 보내는 메시지가 괜찮아 괜찮아 잘 거야 그래서 봤다. 정국이가 이제 이번 안무 저희 데뷔하는 노래 중에 안무에서 댄스 브레이크 혼자 댄스 브레이크 타임을 가져가지고 멋있게 멋들어지게 깡신하게 보여주는 게한게 있는데 그게 자꾸 실패 한국을 자꾸 실패해서 그게 아. 지금 아주 맨날 선생님한테 혼나고 선생님 그게 스트레스다 보는 우리도 스트레스고 정국이도 스트레스 힘들지 힘들죠 힘들지 미안하기도 하고 아니 난 미안 내가 오히려 뭔가 미안하다 그랬는데 내가 가만히 지켜볼 수 밖에 없어가지고 넌 이번 앨범에서 뭘 보여주고 싶니? 사람들이 나는 멋있다 하고 노래도 하고 춤도 춘다 만능이다? 만능까지는 아니야 황금 막내다? 그런가? 야 그래 <웃음> 그런 거 밀라니까 내가 황금 막내 제가 내가 지어준 별명인데 안 써요 안 써요 좋은 <웃음> 걸안 쓰고 버려두고 <웃음> 제가 어릴 때까지만 해도 음, 생일이 많이 좋기만 했는데 지금은 그렇게 많이 좋지 않았다 내가 축하합니다 내 식상에 축하합니다 
oh, I can cook, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this girl don't cook for you. I cook all week. <laughs> well, also. <laughs> we cannot be the judge of that rumour because we've not... I've ever, never seen it. We've never seen I it or tasted, seen it or taste, so tasted this cooking. So this yeah, one day I will, but yeah, I'm busy doing this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm not going to wait in the kitchen while you lot wife watch everything from that while way. I slave away. I'm your housewife. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, so, first of all, the clip of RM and Sugar annoying each other. Mm-hmm. Firstly, hilarious. Mm-hmm. I never in any of those clips where they were like that together got the kind of hierarchy on age mm. do you know what I mean Sugar's the older one there yeah RM was just winding him up and ignoring him when he's telling him to shut up you know well RM's the leader so he has respect as a leader yeah. but also I, th- I do think that by that point they were probably speaking to each other casually because they were friends by that point and they so. were didn't they know each other before BTS yeah, yeah. So they've known each other a long like a while so no I just mean because even Oh yeah, I suppose. Maybe I'm just thinking of some of the other groups we've looked at where there is still that kind of no, I'm older than you, bitch. <laughs> Depends, yeah. Depends what maybe what the situation yeah. called for. But maybe them just mucking about in their yeah. studio they didn't really mind. Yeah. So, who knows? But I, I got the feeling of, the, yeah, like just, just brothers, siblings yeah. mucking about, which is so nice Like to, to feel that bond with them already. So, yeah. It's good. Um... And yeah, just pure carnage, really. Um, it's just it's interesting to hear them saying things like now you look at it like when um, they're talking about how they've got like eight hundred, eight hundred and eighty nine. Um, so you're like, oh, yeah, they used to have they used them. to write messages and stuff on something called fan cafe, yeah. and fans could write back to them. And so it was a little bit like I think a Korean version of almost like a Facebook mixed with like Weverse and kind of something like that. Well, wasn't this before like V Live and stuff? Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. V Live was a was a platform that the BTS helped build yeah. from from the beginning. Yeah, so I, hope, I would totally write on his page. Yeah, if you could things. go back in time, you would just flood it with messages. Yeah. So yeah, just. So cute. But yeah, the fan cafe was was where fans they would interact with fans and fans would leave them comments and stuff. Yeah. So, do you know what else I found funny was um, when they were doing the chat about the golden magnet mm-hmm. and saying that JK got something wrong in choreo and he got scolded. He was like, "Oh, you know, I'm so embarrassed," you know. And I thought, and look at him now mm-hmm. in that uh, concert mm-hmm. where he was meant to fill in for Jin. And, and he laugh. forgot and he just laughed yeah. sit yeah. there and laughed and then carried on you're like and the difference like now uh, yeah uh, my hands are just <laughs> yeah it's nice that they're at a level obviously which they have been for a while obviously in yeah. concert if they make a mistake they can just enjoy it and laugh about it so that's yeah. fine well, that's the difference isn't it instead of being like oh shit you know and then later on going oh I'm so embarrassed I should have done this it's nice mm-hmm. to just be like whoops <laughs> yeah. but back then obviously it was pre-debut so they were effectively students yeah the company had invested money in them so the pressure was on for them to not take it lightly. And they did, and yeah. obviously they don't give that impression. And they of course, their getting off. choreo wrong in a performance then, it would have been like, well, are they really capable? Exactly, you know, it would have been really bad for their, yeah. for their now, impression. Now they're like, mate, I made you so much money, if I ever get one wrong, you can live with it. Yeah. yeah. I've well, changed the choreo and I can yeah. do that. <laughs> exactly, now, we, like, that's it, they've proved yeah. themselves far beyond. So yeah, but back then, obviously, they were proving yeah. themselves, not only to, because even if you've been put in the band, there's nothing to say that you are completely safe. No, so you could have been no, pulled if yeah. you were not pulling your weight, or even with debut, if not enough effort, or they're not sharp enough. Mm. I mean, look at the first two performances. That would have been No More Dream and Bulletproof Part Two. If they were not as if they were so impactful, if they were not as good, you know, or, or or they messed them up or whatnot, and that's what people found so impressive. It's like, wow, they do that live. Yeah, it's amazing. So it really, really helped get them that attention and 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 keep going. So. They had everything riding on it, you know, at yeah. the, the, the beginning. So I can understand why he was like, oh. It was interesting as well. And again, maybe I'm just noticing it because it's sugar. But when they were in a group, he was taking much more of a lead on the talking to the camera mm-hmm. than maybe I feel like if I watch V Live now, I don't feel like he always, I and mean, sometimes he will, but he's often quite happy to sit back and mm-hmm. interject with his thoughts, but not yeah. there. He was very actively like yeah. talking to the camera, and I, you know, very Possibly active. Because he's one of the oldest. Yeah, 
yeah probably leading the way for the mangas if they were still a little bit shy or trying to keep their energy in line by being like yeah. this is what we're talking about I think there was obviously at the beginning there was that hunger from all of them though so I like he was so hungry yeah. to make it and to succeed so he was putting his all into it in every aspect yeah. whereas now again because they've made some success he could calm down a little bit and be like you guys take the lead I'm just yeah. gonna you know especially so. because Jin is the oldest yet mm-hmm. Jin was further back and not as vocal yeah. whereas now I feel like Jin could happily say to them all I've got this you just sit there quietly yeah. <laughs> it's all about worldwide handsome that's it and it would have also been about the profiles that they were given by the company mm. the roles to play within the band obviously yeah. Jin was given the role of being the ice prince so really handsome but quite yeah. cold so he wouldn't have got to be as, as silly and, and he, he always said he struggled with that because it didn't match his personality so maybe again in that stuff and that material even though you're off stage you've kind of got to he's still trying a little to find of, how he's going to behave yeah for exactly what he's being. so that yeah. maybe that's the reason he was a bit more quiet then so who knows yeah sad that like you're watching stuff and V's not there yeah that's him he was there he was around he was in the back yeah. he was just on the side of the camera but and just to see them so young as well Jim in his little bottom lip he must have been impossible as a child Right. Putting that bottom lip out and you have to say no dude. <laughs> I don't know. I I do always think the Korean kids are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and again I can see why, you know, some of the clips on their own aren't relevant to the story you're telling. Mm. You've taken them out of another part that you did need. Yeah. You know, so Yeah. I've seen all, all of that, that footage before, but it's, yeah. yeah, it's nice to see it again. And it is just so interesting to see all of their V Live semesters at the beginning and like you, you said like when J-Hope was speaking and you were like oh you have no idea like yeah, it's just like yeah. I'm just going to keep working and it's just like oh I hope you. it goes well and it's like yeah, yeah. it's going to yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going to rule the world yeah. <laughs> so that's good you'll be alright mate but it's so nice to see that innocent humility in them of just going to work hard and do my best and hope for the best and yeah yeah there's no arrogance there or there's taking nothing for granted they're working so hard he was like we're cutting down on our sleep yeah. and so that hurts me because sleep is so important to me. <laughs> okay. All worked out for the best in the end. Yes. Um, okay. Mm. So that was the deleted scenes from episode one of Rise of Bangtan. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.